This is a Word Network special presentation. It's the Thank you for joining us today as we're live in studio with Bishop Greg Davis. Well, welcome. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He has made me glad. And the rest of the next verse says, send now prosperity. That's what I'm believing God for today in your life on this day. This turnaround, this is how you know we're live, because I'm saying this turnaround Tuesday, that's what the man of God is proclaiming today. God is about to turn things around for you. Late in the midnight hour, God's going to turn things around. He's t matter of fact, Vashon Mitchell, my nephew, says he's turning it around for me right now. Say those words with me. I'm into decreeing and declaring he's turning it around for me right now. Not later on, but right now. God is around. Now, faith. Is the substance of things, not later on faith, not not tomorrow faith, but right now. Catch a hold to your faith. Man or woman of God that's watching right now, some pastors that are watching, God's getting ready to turn that ministry around. We have a ministry gift here that got a great testimony about his church and how God has blessed them about to build. God has given them the provision. And you know what? You don't need to take lightly when ministry gifts come on TV because there is a transference. That's a transference of spirits that is in the house. Whatever God has done for those that are sitting in this chair, God can do it for you. We are witnesses. We are examples of the power of God. And you know what? In this season, it ain't going to take long. Matter of fact, Amos, the ninth chapter, one of his favorite verses, it, it won't be long now. Yes, indeed. One thing after another. And then I'm going on down say blessings and blessings about to happen Turn around Tuesday for you right now. There's a number on the screen. It will be on the screen for the next 26 minutes or so. It's for you to connect with us. There's power in connection. There's power in connection. Where can you go in the middle of the day and somebody will pray for you? Well, let me tell you, we're going to the prayer room in just about 27 minutes. We're going to pray for you today. But right now, precious men and women of God, preachers of the gospel, pastors they're in the prayer room to pray for you right now believe in God for your turnaround this is a time of turnaround why did God wait until the end because he had to move some stuff around told you better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof God's moving some stuff around he moves some relationships out of your life he moves some people out of your life he moves some circumstances out of your life and so you know what get ready for your turnaround he's back with me again not because he messed up yesterday, but because he was so anointed. And I already knew he was going to be anointed. Welcome, my guest, Apostle Travis Jennings. Welcome back, sir. Bless you, Bishop. Good to have you, man Thank of God. Thank you for having us. Well, we going to have, well, it's not the conclusion because you're going to be back with me the first Wednesday in November. I'm honored. Let me tell you something. It happens right here. The first <clears throat> Wednesday of every month. There's seats right here for you. Come be a part. All you got to do is go to uh, Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Say, hey, Bishop, I want to come to the show. I need those of you that got those Bibles and become a part of my prayer army of healers to meet me in Detroit every first Wednesday at 7 p.m. It happens right here. Apostle. Yes. What is the Lord saying today? The Lord's been dealing with me. This is a quick word, but it's going to be a powerful word. We're in the day Tuesday. If you're watching this, this is Tuesday. And the Lord said, this is turnaround Tuesday. Now, now God is so prophetic. Look at this. 1, 1 p.m., 12 noon. Really, this is midday. Yes, sir. So whatever happened to you before this hour, in this moment, God's about to turn it around. God spoke to me and said marriages, ministries, and even your momentum, he's about to turn your whole situation around. You're getting ready to walk into Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things are going to work together for your good. I need as many that can hear the spirit of God. I need you quickly. Don't think about it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. I need you quickly to put seed in the ground. This is good ground. I need you to call in 855-730-WORD. Call right now, myself and the great bishop. 
we're going to lay hands on every yes, seed sir. that comes in. Yes, sir. Because God has spoken to my heart. Even that some marriages, I feel it in my spirit now. You're on the brink of divorce, on the brink of breakup. God's about to turn your marriage and your relationships around. The oil of joy is about to hit yeah, yeah. your relationship. Yeah. This is Turnaround Tuesday. Yeah. And I decree and declare as a prophet of God. Matter of fact, there are people watching. You need to put a seed in the ground now. Call in. Put a seed in the ground. When your seed touches the ground, God is getting ready to manifest every promise, every prophecy, every principle that he has spoken over your life. This is Turnaround Tuesday for you. Listen, I'm going to bring him right back and I'm going to let him preach the gospel. I'm let it, whatever God is leading him. We're going to be right back. We're going to tell you how you can be a part of what God is doing through our ministry throughout this world, how you can connect by uh, uh, reaching out right now. We're going to commercial and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special Healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing. Spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seed of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing. And he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109, order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now, $109. Welcome back to Greg Davis Live. You're watching this Turnaround Tuesday. I want you to call right now. There are, there are 390 of you that will sow that 109 and join me in this mighty army of healers. I want you to get this Bible. I want to get this Bible in your hand. It's been designed by myself and the Word Network. Thank you, Mr. Adele. This is the way I'm celebrating 30 years of preaching wow. by transferring what God has done for me. I want to raise up an army of healers that will lay hands on the sick. I can't do it alone. Why would I even try? And I'm reaching 95 million homes in 200 countries, 3 billion homes around the world. All the satellites that's in the back. Where does the $109 go? Not in my pocket, not a dime of it. It goes toward this gospel. Every seed goes toward the gospel of Jesus Christ. It takes lights. It takes camera. These are not no shabby cameras that somebody is just trying to repair or somebody holding lights up in the old studio. It costs money, y'all. So stand with me. This is the way you can keep me going. By sending for this Bible, Healing Bible, along with the Let the Healing Begin CD and the prayer cloth. I'm decreeing and declaring the word of God over your life on this CD. Uh, uh, decreeing and declaring healing over your life. The Bible already has four pages of scriptures that's broken down. Order right now, $109 seed. No, you're not paying for a Bible. You are giving a seed, putting it in the ground. 855-730-WORD. Apostle Travis Jennings is back with me. We got about 19 minutes, and I'm going to let him go, and I'm going to let him preach. I'm going to let him impart to you. Hear the word of the Lord. Listen, the Lord said, even in this season, this is your turnaround Tuesday. So every season that you've experienced before today, things are getting ready to turn around. Anytime God shifts your season, he changed your garments. God spoke to me and said, many that are watching this telecast right now, many of you, you're in a season of decision. Hallelujah. And you need God to turn yes, some sir. things around. I need you quickly to put a seed in the ground of $50. Yes, the seed of 50. That's a jubilee. Meaning everything that has happened before today, God said he's about to turn things around. He's about to change. Bishop, listen to this. Yes, sir. Anytime God changes a season, he changes a garment. 
Oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Anytime, anytime God, God changes your season. He changes the garment. He changes your garment. Teacher. Joseph. Joseph was in prison. He had a prisoner's garment on. When his season changed and he was brought before the king, <laughs> yes, as it were, they took the garment off him and they put on the governor's garment. All right? You don't believe that? Let's try it again. Look at Lazarus. When Lazarus was in the prison, excuse me, in the grave, and Jesus said, come forth. He had on a death garment, but when his season changed, the first thing that Jesus said was, loose him and let him go. Because anytime God changes your season, he changes your garment. And there are some people watching right now. You've been carrying the garment of depression, failure, and even disease. God's about to shift and turn things around for you. And you have the testimony. My God, if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? This is not the season to give up. Believer, your season is changing. And when your season change, your garments. You know, Abraham experienced a turnaround. Yeah. When he met Melchizedek. Preach. You know, you know, Esther experienced a turnaround. Yes. When she got connected to Mordecai. Yes. You know, Simon experienced a turnaround when he got connected to Jesus. And I came to speak as an oracle of Jesus Christ. Your season of turnaround is right now. You need to plant that $50. Ronda Bohosha. That's some business owners. That's some entrepreneurs. That's some movers and shakers, trendsetters, global shifters. You're watching this and you know you're more than just a saint. Mm. Two anointings are getting ready to come together. Ministry and marketplace. Yeah, you can speak in tongues and cast out devils, but there is more in you. There is enterprise inside of you. There is business on the inside of you. God's getting ready to overshadow you with witty inventions. And he's getting ready to take the fog out of your life. You know, Bishop, sometimes when we're in a fog, naturally we slow down. When you're driving yes. and you're driving through a fog, you naturally slow down. But when revelation knowledge hits you and the fog lifts, acceleration is inevitable. God spoke to me and said, as you plant this $50, that's it, go now. That's it, go now. Plant it now. Call 855 word As you plant this seed of 50, the fog is getting ready to release and acceleration is getting ready to hit you. Every man of God, every woman of God, matter of fact, every entrepreneur, every business leader, you are getting ready to thrive and excel in the season called turnaround. This is going to be your best year ever. Apostle, I, I, and, and we both know Bishop Ivy Hilliard. He's like a mentor to me. I used to hear him tell the testimony about how he gave uh, out of, out of, gave the budget for Fred Price. And I'm like, why does he keep telling the story? And, and as you said here, I thought about the beginning of the year, I gave a seat of $57 that literally turned my life around. Mm. And I said, I wanted to go back to the Word Network. And I hadn't talked to Mr. Adele. I keep telling this over and over again because this was my turnaround time, man. Let me tell you something. As the man of God was talking, right as he was talking, I was about to tell my daughter, Pastor Dana, because she's here, take my credit card out and take it and give to the prayer. I'm going to give $50 today because I. it's been two and a half weeks I've been doing this show now on my third week. And I sense the anointing on this for me because I share with Apostle when I preach for him something I need God to do for me something I need for him to do in the rest of my life. And I'm going to give this $50 myself. I feel the heat on this today. God is about to turn around your season yes. for you. I'm not a liar when it comes to giving. I'm going to the prayer room. But as I'm going to pray for y'all, I'm going to give the $50. And I want him to lay hands on my card as I'm giving it. Because I believe today this turnaround is going to happen like never before. Sitting here, I hear the voice of God speaking to you today. Give that $50. There are 200 of you today that can give that $50. Won't cost, won't hurt you nothing. Business owner, man of God, woman of God, a 
Let me tell you something. Evangelists. I've been on the field now for almost 30 years, having worked a, a, a secular job, as they call it, in almost 30 years. You know what? I've seen a lot of things, but there's one thing I've never seen. <laughs> the I've never, don't preach for me, I've never <laughs> seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg bread. When I tell you, he will do it. Get the seed in the ground. We're going to lay hands yes. on everything that comes in the day. 855-730-WORD. And so now, Bishop, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me even about you. And the Lord said, he said, he said, son, he said, man of God, Hallelujah. this is now the season and the time that you move from where you are to the next level. The Lord said, you've been faithful over a few things, but now he's getting ready to make you rulers over many. Yes, yes, you're my prophet, saith the Lord. Yes, you're my oracle, saith the Lord. But the Lord said, this is your turning point. Yes. And can I share some with you? Yes. The Lord said, every seed that you have sown down through the years, these low 30 years, they are getting ready to come up in a harvest. I see enterprise. Hallelujah. I see business. I see entrepreneurship. There is something connection, amen, with internet, connection with uh, real estate, connection even with clothing. God said, get ready. There's going to be some great doors of opportunity as it relates to three cities, L.A., New York, Yes, sir. And Atlanta. Yes, sir. You're getting ready to connect to these three cities as it relates to enterprise and business. The seed that you're sowing right now, and I'm sowing that same seed. My wife, Pastor Stephanie, we're sowing that same seed because this is the season for turnaround. And the Lord said, everything that you have sown, do not consider it to be a loss. And I see, Bishop, the, the wisdom of God is so on you. I see a bishop's council, like a circle, a, a quorum of expiring men of God, women of God, that really need fathering. And oh, yeah, you have run from it <laughs> because you're humble. You never asked for it. But God said, this is the turning point that I'm going to cause the heart of the father to be turned back to the sons and the sons to their father. I'm not talking about sonship as gender, but sonship as position. Now we the sons of God. Listen, if you are watching this, I want to I want to speak to every son of God, every every mover and shaker, every five-fold ministry gift. I need you quickly to move by faith. Me and Stephanie, can I just share this? Yes. Me and Stephanie, my, my wife, we started 15 years ago. We were, they cursed us. They cursed us, told us we wouldn't make it. They gave us 30, 60, 90 days. It's 15 years now. And the person that cursed us they church closed down, and now we took their members. <laughs> <laughs> no weapon formed against you what, yeah, would be able yeah. to prosper. I want to speak to the pastor that you want to get your church from 50 Prophesy, to 100. Man. You want to get your church from 200 to 500. Listen, me and Stephanie was there struggling in a storefront, 2,100 square feet. A little people didn't have a lot. Do you hear me? We were in a position. Someone challenged us to sow this seed, the same seed that I'm asking you to sow. They challenged us to sow a seed and we sat there and the only thing we had was just that seed. It couldn't meet our need. And if it can't meet your need, what? What? it's just right what? for a seed. What? Yeah. And begin, we began to sow that seed, true story. We began to sow that seed and we have never been broke. Matter of fact, Every person that sows this $50 seed, listen, there are 200 of you quickly need to move. Every person that sows this $200 seed, my wife and I, Bishop Davis, we're going to lay hands on that seed. Can I tell you what happened to us? Yes. Over 14 years ago? Yes, sir. I've been preaching now 24 years. About 14 years ago, when we sowed that seed, my wife and I had never, ever been broke. Never ever been without. That seed broke the back of poverty. Yes. And now we're living yes, in sir. overflow. Our church just got through raising over $300,000 yeah, yeah. in one service. Yeah. No, no, no. We're not compromising the gospel. No. We're not sinning. No. We're not compromising our integrity. No. No. The seed of the righteous will be blessed. Yes. The Bible tells us give and it shall be given in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. So, Bishop, we're in a turnaround Tuesday. Yes. As they sow this seed. Oh, Woo! 
every no <laughs> is going to be turned into a hobbyist. Yes, day, sir. Every no is going to be turned into a yes. I hear the Lord said, even those Prophesy. that went to the banks, even those Prophesy. that went to the underwriters, and they told you no. They said, you're not ready yet. They said, you don't have enough uh, behind you. You don't have enough capital. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, go back and try it again. That's what Jesus told Peter after a night of failure. Peter, go back, try it again, yes. because this time it will work. I hear the spirit of the Holy Ghost telling me, to tell 250 of you all, yes. go back, try it again. This time, it why? Come when on. God breathes on a moment, you get healing. When God breathes on a moment, you get deliverance. When God breathes on a moment, you get turnaround. We are experiencing the breath of God. And so I want to speak to every business owner every person that's struggling in their marriage, every person that you've been called to preach. Matter of fact, you're an apostle. Yeah. <laughs> but there are books inside of you. Yes, sir. Uh, you hide behind the word bishop, but you know you have an apostolic anointing. <laughs> yes, sir. It's time then to move. Yes, that's sir. right. Move into this. Do not doubt this. Yes, Do sir. not hinder this. This is your season. Amos 9, 13, my favorite scripture, yeah. message translation. Yeah, yes, yes, indeed. indeed. Yeah. It won't be long now. Yeah. God's decree. Yeah. Things are going to happen so, so fast. fast. Your head's going to swim. Yeah. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Yeah. You won't be able to keep up. Yeah. And everywhere you look, what? blessings, what? blessings, what? like wine <laughs> torn off the mountains. Yes, I sir. came to speak to you. Shedu God is a bambando ho shandia. It's about to make your head swim. Go now. Eight. Five five seven three seven three zero word. Go now, plant your seed and watch God make your head swim. Eight five five seven three zero word. In about seven minutes, we're going to the prayer room. Get that seed of fifty dollars by credit card. Go online and do whatever you need. If the lines are busy, call back. Keep calling until you get a voice on that phone. 855 word What's the offering? What's the C? $50. You believe. God says that there is one person mm. that can sow a seed of $500. I want to meet. Here's what we're going to do. But you got it. You got to move in the next seven minutes. We're going to come together. One can chase a thousand, yes. but two can do Ooh, what? Bye, bye, bye. We're going to come together and both of us are going to get on the line and pray for you because God is about to break the ceiling of your giving. Yes. He's going to break it just like he did for you. Do you realize what the man of God just said? When they gave that seed, it took them to another stratosphere. It took them to another dimension. One seed can break the back. Of Let me ask you a question. Are you willing to take the chance? that this may, not, this may be the seed and you missed the opportunity? How many more opportunities are you going to miss? None of this is going to us. None of it. So you ain't got to worry about that. The $300,000 he talked about, that's so that he can build a church for God. Yes. That's not for a new pair of shoes, no. a new house or nothing. We're not on here trying to gimmick and game you. It's so that the gospel can, can yes. be preached. This gospel ah, yeah. shall be preached to yes. every creature. To every nation. I used to hear the preacher say that on television. Now I understand. It takes money for these cameras. These are not little rinky-dink cameras. It takes money for the lights. It takes money. You see, we've come back with state of art. This is not no chicken dripping fried chicken uh, network. This is 200 countries. 200 countries. 200 countries. Literally. I had John Francis, your friend. Yes. He was sitting in some, some, on some island. He said, I'm sitting here looking at you, Bishop, in my hotel room. I said, why are you doing that, man? Go enjoy yourself. He said, I got captured at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're all over the world. Yes. 95 million homes, 200 countries, ah. 3 billion homes across the globe. You go in the back, I'm going to show the man of God, there's nothing but satellites beaming up so that this gospel, I used to hear Paul Crouch say that, and he began to cry, and I feel the same thing because God would trust us to carry the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Do you understand yeah. that, apostle? The reach. 
and, and those those that were sold there, and when you were speaking, I heard the spirit. That seed you sold, that yes. they got you sitting here today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You didn't know nothing about a Greg my, Davis? My mother had me when she was 14. My father was a gangbanger. Do you hear me? I hear you. My mother was 14, a crack addict. Yeah. My father was a gangbanger. A crack addict and a game banger came together and produced a prophet. Shabbat I want to speak Provo to the people Shabbat. that people <laughs> gave up on you. They they written you off. You, you the underdog. Yeah, yeah. Go that, ahead. that seed ricoch that that seed catapulted and lunched my wife and I to the level that we are now. It lunched us to the level. And I heard the Lord say this when you were speaking. The Lord said, those that will sow this seed of 50, listen, even those with 500, as you sow this seed, you've been touching good. But the Lord said, he's getting ready to extend your reach. What does that mean? You're getting ready to make impact. You're looking at someone that came out of the roughest hoods in Atlanta. Yes. And now I'm on the Greg Davis show live, reaching millions upon millions, 95 million people, 95 million homes. Do you see this? One seed catapulted us. And that same seed, God's given you an opportunity. Don't miss it. Take advantage of it. And God's getting ready to do what he's did for Stephanie and I. He's going to do it for you. I want you to dial the number on the screen, 855-730-WORD, 855-730-WORD. In about three minutes, we're walking around the other side of this uh, studio, and we're going to the prayer room where precious men and women of God, I want to thank God for the precious men and women of God who will assist us to pray for you. I'm going to put Pastor Dana to work today. We're going to pray for you. We're going to put Pastor Stephanie to work. We all going to game bang today on the devil. Yes. Yes, we is. Those of you that are on Facebook Live, right now, 855-730-WORD. I want you to follow the man of God. Tell us your, your information to follow you. Listen, I want you to go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, if you have it, Apostle Travis Jennings. Apostle Travis Jennings, website www.theharvesttabernacle.org. And what time is service? What city are you in, in Georgia? Atlanta, Georgia, The Harvest Tabernacle Church, 7.30 and 10.30. It'll change a lot. Address? 1450 South Deshaun Road, Lithonia, Georgia. Ain't no joke, y'all. Put your shouting shoes on. No cute shoes now. You can wear your lubes there, but you're going to take them off because they're going to have... He has some books, Life on Turbo. Uh, Life God Help is on the way. Small Steps to Sanity and uh, the Gathering of Champions. I'm going to see if we can offer some of these books in the near future, but I want you to go to his website. His books are there. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, Bishop. We're going to the prayer room? Yes, sir. Get, tell them one last time. we got 10 seconds. Tell you me. need to call in quickly. Plant your seat. Call in quickly. 855-730-WORD. Call in. He's going to be with me the first Wednesday. First Wednesday, Pastor Dana and, and uh, 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 all the others are going to be with me the first Wednesday of this coming month. Every first Wednesday, come to Detroit for Let the Healing Begin. We're going to be praying for the sick, but right now, we're on our way to the prayer room. 855-730-WORD. We out of here. Thank y'all. Love y'all.